Hey, this is Andrew uh, with Shogun. Uh, today, we're going to go over a part with the, I think, 2004 and uh, Dodge Avengers shifters that they'll get stuck in park and they won't come out. There's actually an easy fix to this. Um, a lot of you may have gone to dealers and paid $100 to get the part fixed. Um, they're putting the same crappy part in it. There's actually a bypass for the safety switch to where it won't do this anymore. Now, uh, this goes for the Chrysler, uh, Concords, probably the, the Intrepids, I'm sure, have almost the same linkage. A Neon, um, I'm trying to think, most of the LH, LH body styles. Uh, Sebring's. Same car, different body. Um, the neons are a little different, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that the mechanism is close and that they've had problems with it. Uh, overall, the Avenger, we've got the V6. It's an 08. It's been a great car. I've had it a year and a half. But as soon as I got it from the dealer, the shifter messed up, and I got stuck at work in it. Well, I got my other car and went home left the car for two days and got online. People have been kind of ghetto rigging the shifters. Or, you you know, you hear complaints where people spend all this money at the dealer getting it fixed. Well, the same part is so cheap. It's a little piece of plastic that'll break and the spring for the lock mechanism breaks and it doesn't let it unlock when you push the pedal. That's what it does. Well, there's actually an easy bypass that I found today, and I'm going to give you the short of it and show you how to take the dash panel for the console out quickly and replace it pretty easily. Um, but there's actually, it's, it's so easy it'll blow your mind. It's a bypass. Um, and a little, it will let you put the car in reverse without pushing the brake, but anybody with common sense knows you push the brake before you try to take off. Just common sense. But anyway, here it is. I've got the uh, console taken apart already. All it does is unsnap, so it's pretty easy, but I just left it apart so that I can do it with one hand. You'll have, you know, your cup holder stays in place. You know that this is like a three-piece deal here and then your little tray here and then this piece will come out right here too but in order what you'll do is reach up front well first you got to take the shift handle off if you pull on it hard enough straight up it just slides off there's no locking on it it just keeps from twisting there's no lock or anything to keep it from pulling off so you just pull it straight up the way it's aimed and it slides off. And I, I got it laying over here with all her other stuff. Well, then you're going to reach forward and pop the chrome piece out. It just unsnaps little tabs right there and lay it to the side. This piece you'll have to get out in a second. But first, probably get a, a key or something that don't damage anything. Maybe a flathead screwdriver. And right up here, pop it, and it unsnaps. If you get that far, you can actually pop it loose like that. And then you may want to unsnap this piece and get it out so it's easier to slide the big piece over the shifter handle like this. And it just comes out like that. All right. So now you've got a big hole. <laughs> All right. This piece right here is two-piece. It's just got the little rubber thing under it, it's all it is. But um, it unsnaps. But you may have to pull on these tabs where my middle finger are, is. And usually you can get it done snap pretty easy though. And pull it out. There's a happy owner. Hey, look at your dash, or your console. I see that. I found a bypass for it, 
after we won't have to use hair bungees next time. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? This little tab. Oh yeah, you're on candy camera. Yeah. Shugging, baby. <laughs> so, there's the lock mechanism. Look, Ray. Whenever you push the pedal, it's unlocking. There's a spring that pulls over here that keeps breaking, and it's not letting this, it's not pulling this up to where you can shift out. See, it's stuck. Well, all you need to do is push on this constantly, and it'll let you shift. See? Well, this is the little spring piece that pushes it back into the lot position. Watch this. There. There it is. Pull the little tab up to where it catches on this. And it'll actually keep it mid-range. We can shift it with or without the pedal. You do know not, not to try to shift it in the reverse without pushing the brake pedal, right? Okay then, all that safety crap is pointless. And then, you just put the car back together. And that's it, no more hair bungees. 